Hey, hey, everybody, Joel Peterson here with the Crypto Code, bringing you another Crypto Predictions update video. Hope you guys are doing awesome today. It is, what is it, January 12th, 2024, and I'm excited to go ahead. This is, uh, like I said, these are the videos where I take about 10 uh, or so coins, tokens, altcoins, at usually more than that, and I'll go ahead and give you the pri my price predictions for the next 12 to 24 hours. We're not always right, but we're pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. Thank you guys for being here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my trades that I took yesterday. I, if you watched yesterday's video, show you the results of those. And, I and then I will go ahead and uh, give you a little Bitcoin analysis. I'll start in my crypto predictions. And then I'm going to go in and bring up some of our students and show you what they have been doing. You guys are going to want to stay around for that. Also, let me know what coins and tokens you guys want me to look at. And we'll put those on another episode. Alrighty guys, so yesterday if you looked at the video, I took a trade on, let's see, Bitcoin. We did a quick uh, Bitcoin uh, trade on here and then uh, we did two of them actually. We did a long and a short. This was my short Bitcoin trade here. Um, this was a quick long trade and then this one was a really, really quick uh, short trade. Caught it right at the top, boom. And I closed it out because I went to my target. Bitcoin continued to drop way, way, way down. So I probably could have made a lot more profit than that. But I don't care because I just like any kind of profit. Um, I also mentioned yesterday and I took the ETH trade. And I just closed that out this morning for $1,160 in profit. So 5.8% return with a little bit of leverage. I did 5x leverage on that, uh, 29%. Again, guys, be really careful with leverage. You got to know what you're doing. Take it out, do it, go small, just stick with spot when you get started. Uh, if you're interested in learning our trading strategies and what we do, how we make profits in our program, how we automate things, um, how you can do what you're seeing here on this video, jump into the description of this video, go register for a workshop, uh, Take watch the workshop. We actually have a short quiz at the end that you can take, pass the quiz, and we'll actually send you $10 in Bitcoin. In fact, right after this video, I'm going to be sending Bitcoin to a bunch of people today. Alrighty guys, so uh, let's go talk about the markets really quick and then I'll go ahead and start on my predictions. So Bitcoin rejected at the top with the day of the ETF um, and you know, it's, it's like expected. I, like what do you guys expect? But here's the thing guys, uh, Bitcoin hit a very high level of what's called resistance. So if I'm looking at this at a one day chart, we hit a very high level of resistance, a very historical level and we rejected from it. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, it's because of the ETF, it's because of the e ETF, but listen guys, it's just not, it's just not, everyone always finds a narrative or a story, but the truth is markets are going to do what markets are going to do, and a lot of it has to do with the stock market. Okay, so the stock market is almost at another brand new high, just a little bit of tiny behind that, it's hit some all new highs, and it's struggling there a little bit, it's starting to pull back, so don't believe what you see in the news about it's the ETF hype and stuff. Those are things that are just narratives. What you have to really pay attention to is just the data in the charts. Momentum, where the buying volume is coming in. I mean, that's that's what trading is all about. Forget the news. The news will get you wrecked. All right? So just understand that Bitcoin, hey, we might be starting on this downward correction. We've been talking about that the last few days. We may have another try to the upside, maybe to 50000 We don't know. Time will tell. I don't ever try to predict the future. All I like to do is sit there and show you where the targets are going to be in the next 24 to 48 hours so that you can make your own educated trading decision, do your own research. We've done pretty well at this. All righty, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with our predictions. Okay, here we have Bitcoin and the one hour chart. The current price of Bitcoin is 45824 We're looking at a target of 43491 And on the daily chart, we're looking at a target of 43498 Looks like Bitcoin, uh, we're going down. That's about a 5% drop there, guys. Pretty significant, actually, for Bitcoin. And again, this is a probabilities, not certainties. So use your own research and other things that you know or learn. Uh, not just what someone says, but you actually want to look at the data in the charts. Alrighty, guys, let's go over to Ethereum. Ethereum has uh, been on a tear. It's really nice to see Ethereum. This is generally what happens when you see Bitcoin 
start to pull back, people are taking their profits and putting them into other altcoins. And Ethereum will be the next one to run. So Bit, uh, Ethereum on the one day chart, 2,677 with a potential target of 2,756. We're getting a sell signal, potential trend change down on the one hour chart. On the daily chart, we have a potential target of 2,755 on Ethereum. Let's take a look at the four hour chart. Four hour chart, looking strong again, 2,755 on Ethereum. Let's head on over to BNB. BNB, all right, look, we're starting to print a little, little green there. Um, $311 on BNB. By the way, congratulations if you guys took this trade. Recently, we talked about BNB. I think we were down here at uh, below 300 yesterday. So uh, congratulations, guys. Uh, BNB, it's uh, following its, its path. There's a lot of tokens kind of doing the same thing. We're kind of in this altcoin area. Okay, let's start with BNB again. Current price of BNB, $311.00. Potential target of $319 on BNB on the one day chart. Potential target of $318 on BNB. Let's head on over to Solana. 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 Okay. Solana's been struggling a little bit. It's already had its run. Maybe it's it definitely will probably run some more. But it is current price of $98.18 with a potential target of $91.72. And and we've got a daily price of $91.71. So we go ahead and pause the video and take a trade. Okay, so I got a short going on Solana. Now guys, don't just take my trades because you see a guy on YouTube. When you watch this video, it'll be later and the numbers won't match. And again, you shouldn't just follow me. You should learn how to do this on your own. Okay, don't just follow a random guy on YouTube. Alrighty guys, not financial advice. All right, XRP, let's go look at XRP. XRP on the one day chart, we have a current price of 59 cents with a current price of target of 62 cents on XRP. On the one day chart, we have a current price target of 56 cents on XRP. So expect some wavy actions. And I do see that we matched uh, kind of those targets yesterday that we talked about. ADA, Cardano ADA, where are we at in Cardano? Uh, current price of 58 cents with a potential target of 62 cents and on the daily chart potential target of 62 cents let's go do another trade here okay we started the ADA trade as well we'll go ahead and that's a long trade I've got a Solana short trade going so we'll report on that tomorrow Remember, guys, I don't always win. So, again, don't just take my trades just because you see a guy on YouTube doing this. Let's keep going. All right, AVAX. Where are we at on AVAX? AVAX. AVAX. Current price $38.57 on AVAX with a potential target of $42 on AVAX. On the daily chart, potential target of $35 on AVAX. Doge. Doge. That is current price. All the zeros. Uh, eight, uh, eight cents, five, and with the potential target of all the zeros, zero, eight, eight. Let's go look on the daily. Daily potential target of 0 0.082 on Doge. Looks like we're trending down a little bit. Dot potential target, uh, okay, current price on dot is $8.15. Potential target of $8.66. That's about a 6.2% 6 6 gain on a daily chart, Six point. 1.8% gain. We do have a PTC down, which is a potential trend change down. However, those can happen and, uh, you know, may show that we're going to have a correction here in the future on DOT. And just as I said that, I noticed that our arrow just flipped down to 7.44 on DOT. Okay, had to do a DOT short as well. Saw that flip happening right there. So I've got my DOT trade in place. I got my ADA long and I've got a Solana short trade there. So, all right, guys, let's go on. Um, currently, we've got Matic. Let's look at Matic. Current price of Matic is 93 cents on the one hour. And we're not getting any signals. Let's see, trading views thinking. Matic, I think it's because of the pump. Matic is pumping. Nope, no, nope, nope. here we go. 
potential target of 97 cents on pneumatic on the daily chart and on the one hour chart let's see if it's giving us a reading might be taking a minute yes same thing 97 cents so again one hour at 97 cents with the potential 4.5 percent up daily chart 4.08 percent up again guys these are probabilities not certainties link link fifteen dollars and seventeen cents on the one day chart with a probability of potential target of 5.8 that's a 4.19 percent move with a daily down to 14.67 so again that could be a 3.4 percent loss on that or you know downward moment downward percentage doesn't mean a loss i mean if you take a short and then go down to there you're going to win all righty guys let's go look at shib 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 all right <laughs> say that 10 times really fast Shib, all the zeros, 10, 1, 8. Potential target, all the zeros, 10, 5, 9. On the one hour chart, on the daily chart, yeah, we have all the zeros, 10, 5, 9. Potential target, about 4% on Shib. Okay, Litecoin, we've been talking about Litecoin. Litecoin does look to be on an upward swing. It's uh, one of those uh, altcoins that's uh, taken off again. It usually takes off before Bitcoin. Has a cooldown period, then it's taking off. So it definitely looks like it's uh, taking off again. Current price seventy five dollars and forty cents, with the potential target of seventy eight dollars on Litecoin on the one hour, on the daily potential target of seventy eight dollars. And I just took a Litecoin trade. So there we go. So we have four trades in place. We have the Litecoin dot Ada and the Solana. So we'll report on those tomorrow. Uh, guys, if you're wondering how we take these trades, we have a very specific method, strategy that we follow. It's just one of the strategies we choose. At the Crypto Code, we have automated strategies. We have other types of um, strategies. Strategies. What you're looking at is called the target strategy. You can see our indicators and charts. It gives you the general idea of where to take your entries, your targets, your DCA levels, and your stop losses. If you're Again, if you're interested in learning this, Head on over to the description of this video, attend the workshop, attend the workshop, and take a quiz. We'll send you $10 in Bitcoin. All right, let's do a couple more. All right, ICP. ICP, ICP, what are you doing, ICP? Current price of $12.85 on ICP with a potential target of $14.02, about a 9% gain. And on a daily chart, where are we going? Potential target of 9.03% gain on ICP. Again, guys, these are probabilities, not certainties. Two more. I want to do Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Where's our Bitcoin Cash? $281. Excuse me, got the hiccups. Hiccups, hiccups. <laughs> potential target of $296 on the one hour and potential target of Two hundred ninety-six dollars on the one-day chart. One more, and you guys, let me know if you guys want me to. See, if you want to see some coins and tokens, uh, let me know. Let's do uh, H bar. H bar. Current price of eight eight cents four. Potential target of eight cents eight. And on the one-day chart, potential target of eight cents eight. I want to show you guys something uh, with the different charts we use. There was a buy signal here on a one hour chart and on the four hour chart you also would have seen a sell signal here to do a short and on the daily but you could see that on the four hour chart we had started to print in a down arrow here and we've gone to gray and then we're going to red which means that uh, more likely than not we're probably going to be trending down. Let's look at the six hour chart. Here as well, trading view is going a little slow today. Same thing, we were green to gray, and more likely that means a trend change. Look at the 12 hour chart. 12 hour chart, it's taking a minute to load up. Yeah, same thing, guys, green to gray. So even though we're having some up signals, it looks like we're showing some potential trend change. And let's look at that daily chart on Hedera. Hedera, the trend is still up, and until we start to go gray, 
we will not have doubts, but I will show you this. This is like an awesome signal down here. There's a buy signal. When was that? On the 8th of January. And so, uh, you know, guys, the trend is your trend until the end, till it changes. All right, so you want to go with the trend as much as possible. If you go against the trend, just remember those will be little short-term time frames. All righty, guys, so I hope you guys are doing really well. Let's bring up some of our, see how some of our trades are doing that we started here. Again, guys, you can't, when you set these trades up, they're going to play out within the next 12 to 24 hours. So you're not going to have like instant winners right then. So uh, we'll, we'll see how these play out. All right, guys, let's go jump into our students and see how they are doing. Let me refresh the screen here. Saw a couple come in here. Looks like we have a TCC targets win overnight from Brian. Congratulations, Brian. You have shown a really consistent 25% gain. Awesome, Brian. Let me make my face a little smaller there. Who else do we have? 91% gain on SCI short. Who is this? Kate. Kate Jameson, again, congratulations, 91%. Woohoo, Kate. Awesome. Guys, again, we don't really care which directions the markets are going, whether up or down. You can make money both ways. And when you learn that, um, your whole perspective changes on crypto. Here we go. This is Anastasia, 5% win. Congratulations on uni. Seems like this one took forever to finish, but it did. <laughs> congratulations, Anastasia. doesn't matter. It's not a race. Bonk, this is an 8%, 18% short on uh, from Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan. And Solana, I'm looking forward to graduating to bigger profits, but these small real win steps have been very gratifying nonetheless. Hey, guys, a profit is a profit. Congratulations. It's not a race, guys. Uh, you know, the longer you're in crypto, you'll find out that... Uh, You'll, uh, you know, profit's profit, okay? One of my first leverage, leverages, I think we showed this yesterday. This is uh, Dina with her win on um, sand. Congratulations, Dina. A couple more. Ape Trade, who is this? 16% win again, Anastasia. Congratulations on your 16% win with your uh, Ape Trade. We've got a couple more in here, it looks like. Winning Trade from the Pump. Who's that? Oh, of course, Josie. Congratulations, Josie. A five point, five point something percent win, guys. It's not all about like these massive ninety percent wins all the time. These uh, just quick, short wins. Even though some of you are seeing some larger ones, here's a nine percent gain with FXS. And again, we don't care if the price is going up or down, guys. We just go for the wins. Here is an eighty-six percent win on Mover. Wow, look at that one, Jason Klein. Congratulations, Jason, on your 86% win. What else we got here? 12% win on ADA. Great job. 12% win on ADA. And I think we have a few more here we can take a look at. Oh, I think we looked at this one the other day. 16.5% win on RNDT. So congratulations, guys. Um... Listen, uh, trading and learning how to do this is, uh, it's not as hard as you think. Like It's like anything. It's like riding a bike, right? There was a time you didn't know how to ride a bike. And then you learned to ride a bike. How did you learn to ride a bike? Well, you got on the bike and you started pedaling. All right? And you got better and better at it just because you spent the time learning it. Look, even with Bitcoin right now, we have a potential target of 42,000. And on the daily chart, we have a potential target of, let's just check this out, uh, 42,000. So it looks like Bitcoin is definitely showing some signs of weakness. But again, guys, who knows? Uh, the go with the trend. What is our trend on um, Bitcoin right now? We're still going up on Bitcoin. So we could be surprising. You know, the trend is your trend till the end. Until this churns gray on a one-day chart, we don't know. But you know, more than likely, we're probably due for a good correction. Alrighty, guys. This is Joel Peterson with The Crypto Code. Hope you guys are doing awesome and having an amazing day. We'll uh, do another video tomorrow and show you the results of our trades. Again, don't just take my trades because you saw a guy on YouTube 
Trading is risky. You can lose all your monies. You need to learn this. You can learn this. Anyone can learn this if you're interested in learning this. Go to the description of the video. Watch the workshop. We'll send you $10 in Bitcoin for taking a quiz. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe. Get my notifications if you want to get my predictions every single day. This is Joel Peterson with The Crypto Code. Take massive action in your life and anything you do. We'll see you guys on another video. Bye-bye.